Hello students and welcome to this syllabus video. The syllabus is important because this is what we are going to use to gauge your progress and to see how we are learning and so that you know what you need to learn uh, by the end of the eight weeks. Let's get into it. Here is our syllabus. You'll see here the appropriate section number. This is an online class for eight weeks. And this is the equivalent of three units, 54 hours for cl the class. This is my information. This is the course description. So we can read through this. This is to teach you the bilingual skills, English and Spanish, required for interpreters and translators to provide professional interpreting and translation services to businesses, government, and education. And uh, you can read through the rest of it to see some of the specifics. These are the student learning outcomes that we are going to learn by the end of this class. This is going to be in your syllabus quiz. The syllabus quiz will be open on the first week this week and will be due by the second week. But you can complete it ahead of time, of course. And one of the questions is to identify the student learning outcomes. So this is the information right here. There's no textbook required. This is an OER ZTC, Open Educational Resource, zero text cost class, which means that I will be providing all the materials that you need, including glossaries that are specific to the industries that we're going to be covering. And I'll let you know where those are in the first week. We're going to have some video lectures. Be sure to watch those because that is the instruction for that week. The study guides are there to prepare you for the quizzes. And there are no surprise quizzes. Everything that you need to know is going to be spelled out in this study guide. And then there are links to other educational materials, any business articles, anything that you need to know. I'll be providing those in the module itself. There needs to be weekly student to instructor and student to student interaction. And this will be accomplished by different activities such as the assignments and especially the discussions. There'll be some announcements as well from time to time. But the most important one is the weekly discussion that I'll explain during each module. This is the college's mission statement. Santa Ana College inspires, transforms and empowers a diverse community of learners. This talks about the assignments, the quizzes, and the grading. So these are all the assignments that will be used to grade your progress in this class. This is the grading scale for the different grades right here. And the homework is worth 20% of the final grade. The online class exercises, including the group discussion, is 15%. 15% for the discussions, 20% for the quizzes, and the final exam is worth 30% of your final grade. I'll explain more of that once we get closer to that date. Even though this is an accelerated class, I expect you to dedicate enough time to fulfill all the requirements and to complete the assignments. Here is the late work policy for that. As I mentioned earlier, the modules are open on Monday and every assignment is due by Sunday at midnight except in the discussions, which I'll explain to you once we get to that. And you need to submit your assignments through Canvas. Do not email me any of the assignments because I cannot upload them for you. Read through this information. Again, do not email me your assignments. I cannot upload documents on your behalf. If you miss a deadline, if there's an emergency or a personal situation that you need to take care of, be sure to contact me ahead of time to make any alternative arrangements. You do have access to a free version of Microsoft 365. You're going to have to turn in many of the assignments in Microsoft Word, and there are instructions on how to do that in the module. And do not submit PDFs to Canvas unless the assignment specifically calls for that. And Canvas does not allow me to view or to grade Apple pages or any other format. So do not upload any of those formats as well. If you submit in anything other than a Word document, when the assignment calls for that, I'm going to ask you to resubmit your assignment. Here are the dates for the class. When we start, the end date. If you need to add the class, well, you're here in the class, but if somebody wants to add the class, that's the deadline. The last day to drop with a withdrawal with a W, the last day to drop without a W, and the last day to get a refund is right there. Since this is an online class, attendance to class means participating in class. And per 
college policy, the students who do not participate in the first week of class will be dropped as a no-show. And there's an assignment that I'll explain to you in the first week so that you know what you need to complete during the first week. If there are two weeks of no participation, then you will be dropped for excessive absences. This is an eight-week class, so a two-week absence is 25% of the class. And unless you have a plan to catch up, it'll be very difficult to do that. And of course, you are responsible to drop the class if if circumstances arise that you need to do that. I cannot drop you from the class. You need to do that yourself. Again, this is an online class. This is an accelerated class. So the 16-week content is going to be compressed into eight weeks. So that means that there's a little bit higher time commitment than your regular 16-week class. So one credit hour spent in class during a regular in-person class requires two hours spent outside of class, homework, research, etc. Because we have a three-unit, eight-week class, we're compressing, as I said before, 16 weeks into eight weeks. You should be allocating about 12 hours per week for your online class preparation, homework, discussions, etc. This is the information on communicating the course announcements, the Canvas inbox, if you have any questions for me specifically, make sure that your Canvas email is accurate and that you review that or check that on a daily basis, if not more often. If there are any issues regarding any illness, you know, COVID-19 or anything else, then be sure to let me know. When you include messages to me, if you have a question about a specific assignment, please include your name and the question topic that you have a question in the subject line. For example, Juan Perez quiz two question. I usually respond within 48 hours, Monday through Thursday, excluding holidays. And if you have any emails that you send Friday or over the weekend, I'll answer those on Monday. If you have any questions about the course, there is a section called the general course questions. So if you cannot find an answer to a question that you have, please post in this area and then I can answer the question. Or if anyone else knows the answer, feel free to answer that question. It's important to have academic honesty. We at Santa Ana College expect honest and forthright actions from our students. So you can read through this. We do not take lightly to any academic dishonesty. Especially for our class, this is important. Using Google Translate to translate your entire assignment is considered plagiarism, and you will not receive a grade for that assignment. There's also a feature in Microsoft Word where you can translate. If you translate your entire assignment using the Microsoft Translate feature, that is also considered plagiarism. During class, we will discuss proper and appropriate uses of machine translation, automatic translation, online translation tools. But to translate your entire assignment using one of these tools and turn it in like that, that is a no-no. If you have any disabilities, need accessibility support, please have this information ready. There is the Disabled Student Programs and Services, DSPS. They are in charge of that. If you need any accommodations, feel free to contact them online at this link. There's their phone number right there. Even though this is an online class, we do still have and uh, abide by this sexual harassment policy where that is not tolerated. Any unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, any other verbal, physical, or typing communication that constitutes sexual harassment that is prohibited by the college and will not be tolerated. If there is anything that you feel uncomfortable about in this area, please contact the office of human resources, that is their phone number, and trollish behavior will not be tolerated. So a troll is someone who deliberately starts uh, quarrels, posts inflammatory, extraneous, or off-topic responses only to elicit negative emotional responses. So we can disagree, but let's do so respectfully. And I expect you to do that as the professionals that I know that you are and you are becoming. And here are the assignments. Look at your specific due dates. Each week is one module. Each module is one week. Here are the due dates, and this is the assignment. This is what we're going to be covering, the reading assignments, videos, etc. what you need to do during that class. Week two, due date, but look at your specific syllabus available online, and I'll show you where that is in Canvas as well in just a moment. So week three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and the final is right there. So on your homepage, the syllabus is right here. You have the 
accessible syllabus here. Same information we just covered. Dates are there as well. And at the top, if you want to download that for your own records in Word and in PDF, of course, this will open it in Canvas, and this arrow will download it to your device. Again, we have a syllabus quiz that is opened this week and is due by the second week. So be sure to do that. That is it for the syllabus. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.